In this video today, I'm going to be showing you how you can boost your FPS and reduce your input delay in Fortnite. And to do just that, we're going to be using Ronan Tweaks' free version. It is a tweaking utility that can fully optimize your PC with a few simple clicks. Ronan Tweaks does also offer a ultimate plan, which will drastically boost your FPS and reduce your input delay, and has way better tweaks overall. If you're interested in purchasing, make sure you use the special promo code 5000. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so to get Ronin Tweaks Lite, you want to head over to Discord right here, and you want to join the Discord. I'm going to leave a link down below in the description. Alternatively, you can just type in discord.gg slash tweaker, and it's going to redirect you to Ronin Tweaks' official Discord server. You want to go ahead and type in ronintweaks.com and press on download right here. Then you want to go ahead and scroll a little bit down, and it's going to ask you to enter your Discord code. So just go back to the Discord. Head over to bot commands and type in exclamation mark free and press on enter and as you guys can see and then it's going to send you a code on your DMs. Go ahead and copy paste this code and just paste it in here and then press on download. As you guys can see it's downloading right here. You then want to go ahead and open the Ronin Tweaks Lite installer. Press on install and now just wait for it to install. Alright guys so once you're done with the download you're going to find it on your desktop so you just want to go ahead show desktop icons and it's right there as you guys can see press on it click on yes now it's going to basically initialize your system press on accept create a system restore point if needed i already have one so i'm just going to skip but it is very very important to create a system restore point so make sure you do anyways guys this is a guide if you need it so as you guys can see you have your dashboard right here your tweaks cpu tweaks gpu tweaks tweak presets cleaner the ultimate plan anyways guys here you have your performance monitors you can monitor your cpu usage your gpu usage your ram usage and much much more anyways you want to head over to tweaks right here and as you guys can see you have a bunch of different tweaks you can apply from all of these are free and safe to use so as you guys can see for the first tweak you have optimized windows this is basically going to optimize your windows system for better performance and improved user experience make sure that you have this turned on win32 process separation this is basically going to optimize your scheduling for better system responsiveness and reduce use latency disable game bar this is basically going to disable the windows game bar which is a really hardware demanding service so make sure you have this turned on disable power throttling this is basically going to disable power saving on your cpu for more consistent performance but please note that this can overheat your cpu then you have optimized multimedia and game priorities you then have disable specter slash meltdown migrations this is basically going to disable cpu security migrations as it states right there it can basically improve performance so if you want you can actually turn this on but it's going to reduce your security on your cpu so make sure you know that disable notifications this is basically going to disable windows pop-up notifications make sure you have this turned on optimize exclusive full screen this is basically going to disable windows features that interfere with full screen mode in games in other words it's going to basically improve your performance when you're using full screen mode so make sure you have this turned on disable background services this is going to disable all the unwanted background services that are running in the background and this is going to improve your performance drastically so make sure you have this turned on as well system responsiveness optimization make sure you have this turned on as well this is going to increase your system responsiveness by disabling network throttling next you have high performance power settings this is basically gonna set your power settings for maximum performance but please note that your power consumption will increase then you have the ronin tweaks power plan this is basically gonna install a custom optimized power plan and once again this might make your components heat but it has a really high impact then you have disable high precision event timer make sure you have this turned on as well and last but not least you have optimized windows timer resolution it's gonna basically set the timer resolution to 0.5 ms for smoother gameplay Make sure you have this turned on as well. Then you have some CPU tweaks. As you guys can see, you have some AMD CPU optimizations. Now, these are really important, especially if you play Fortnite, because Fortnite is actually a CPU-based game. You have AMD CPU optimizations, Intel CPU optimizations, pretty self-explanatory. They're going to optimize your CPU. Disable core parking. This is basically going to disable all the inactive cores, and they're going to make all the cores on your CPU active. Make sure that you have this turned on. Another really good CPU tweak is disable CPU C states. This is going to disable power saving from your CPU for more consistent performance. You then have disable CPU idle states. Pretty much the same thing as disable core parking. It is somewhat similar to disable core parking. It's going to prevent the CPU from entering idle states. You then have disable power saving. Make sure you have this turned on as well. Last but not least, you have optimized IPC latency. It's going to basically improve your latency for your CPU. Then you have some GPU tweaks here as well. You have some NVIDIA GPU optimization. It's basically going to apply some optimizations for NVIDIA GPUs, including latency reduction and much, much more. Same thing for AMD as well, and the same thing for Intel. 
You also have disable dynamic P states. This is gonna basically prevent the GPU from dynamically changing performance states. Maintaining maximum performance at all time, make sure you have this turned on. And you have the rest of the GPU tweaks. Uh, I also I recommend you apply all of them as well. They're all pretty safe to use. You then have tweak presets right here. These are basically presets for the tweaks. So if you want, you can go ahead and apply either the balanced or the performance preset. You then have the cleaner right here. We have four options. System cleanup. This is basically going to remove the temporary files to, to free up the space. Make sure you have this turned on. Remove the unwanted stuff in your PC. Then you have disable reserve storage. You then have disable windows telemetry. You can apply this tweak as well. Basically going to enhance privacy. But And that was it for the free version, guys. Now, let me go ahead and show you the options that we have in the ultimate plan. As you guys can see, this is what the Ronin ultimate looks like. As you guys can see, you have way more tweaks with an improved UI as well. You also can add on a BIOS tuner. You have some game boosters as well. You can go ahead and optimize CSGO, Apex Legends, The Witcher, many, many games. Fortnite as well is included. I think Rainbow Six Siege as well is included. You also can fully deep load your system. So let's go ahead and show you the tweaks. For your input delay tweaks, you have ultra low latency mode, as you guys can see. You have so many tweaks for the input delay. And as you guys can see, for your system tweaks, you have so many different tweaks as well. You then have a lot of gaming tweaks as well. You can also apply Fortnite potato graphics. Now for your CPU, you can go ahead and select Intel. And as you guys can see, you have nine different tweaks you can select from. You also have some GPU tweaks. As you guys can see, as you guys can see, you have 15 different GPU tweaks. And these GPU tweaks are actually different from the ones from the free version. Same goes for input delay, same goes for system, CPU, and much, much more. These are actually different from the ones on the free version, so they're not duplicated. You also have some peripheral tweaks which are not included in the free version. As you guys can see, you can fully optimize your mouse and keyboard. You also have different network tweaks. As you guys can see, there are so many network tweaks to choose from. And last but not least, you have some power management tweaks, as you guys can see. And here you have the home page. You have your hardware specifications. As you guys can see, it's a upgraded UI. And that is it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.